Hi, I'm Andrew, and welcome to the Neon Knitter. So, yesterday, I went to one of my local yarn stores, Stephen B., which is located in Minneapolis. And I bought a few things yesterday, and so I thought I would show you my haul. So, this year, I'm going to be participating in the West Knits Hyper Knit Along. And how it works is Stephen releases two shawl patterns and you choose one of the two shawl patterns to knit. And both shawls take the exact same number of colors, exact same yardage. And so if you buy a kit for one shawl and decide you want to knit the other shawl instead, you do have that option. So that's what I've decided to do. And so the two patterns are the cable trellis shawl and the spiraling cables triangle. Now I've decided to do the cable trellis shawl. So he used, cause you need a fade and then you need a solid color to go with it. And his fade, he used spin cycle dream state. Now Stephen B doesn't have spin cycle dream state but I'm going to show you my three skeins of Spin Cycle Dream State because this ties into what I bought at Stephen B yesterday. Because I bought my solid color yesterday, so I'll show you that in a minute. But first I'm going to show you my three colors of Spin Cycle Dream State. So this is the first one. Contrast color one. And again, I'm doing the um, cable trellis shawl. So this is the color silver lining. And I ordered this from Hill Country Weavers because this is their shop exclusive color. And then this one is Birds of a Feather, which is the Magpie Fibers exclusive color. And then this one is called Overpasses, which is a color that Spin Cycle just does and anyone can carry that color. And one of the nice things I found with Spin Cycle on their website, which I think a lot more yarn companies should start doing. So if you own a yarn company, you should start doing this on your website is um, what they do is you can browse their colors of their yarn on their website. But then there's a separate listing for all the shop exclusive colors. So if there's a yarn store that has an exclusive color, they have a listing for it and they tell you what store it's exclusive to so that you can go shop at that store and buy it. So that gives you a few extra color choices. Uh, uh, unlike other yarn companies like Hedgehog or Madeline Tosh or I don't know, um, companies like that, you kind of just have to know if a yarn store has an exclusive color because they don't have anything on their website about it. So it's kind of nice to know because then you can know truthfully all the colors that that company dyes so that's kind of nice and so that's how i was able to make a nice fade because i had those few extra options to choose from the downside is i had to order from three different places but that's worth it so yeah so that's my fade and so my solid color is madeline tosh tosh dk and this is what i got at stephen b yesterday um and this is a one-of-a-kind, and it's one-of-a-kind lot, not a one-of-a-kind skein. So, like, they made one lot of it, and so I bought three of them, because that's what I needed, because your solid color, you need about 500 yards, and it's a DK weight pattern, so. That is for the cable trellis shawl. And then, I also got my yarn for um, another Stephen West pattern, Color Craving. So, here's my color A for Color Craving. This is Black Waddle Yarns Gravelia Fingering in the colorway Spectator. It is 60% alpaca, 20% merino, 20% nylon and it is 387 yards well the label says 387 yards Ravelry says 383 so whatever but that's color A for color craving 
Here's color B. This is three Irish girls, Glenhaven Cash Merino fingering. It is 80% Merino, 10% Cashmere, 10% Nylon, and it is 370 yards. And this color is called Applejack. So that's color B. And then here's color C, this beautiful pink. This is Zen Yarn Garden Super Fine Fingering. 90% Super Fine, yeah. 90% Super Fine Super Wash Merino. 10% nylon, and it is in the color Karaoke Mike. So these are my three colors for color craving. A, B, and C. So that's for color craving. Lastly, what I got is I got a kit for a hat. Now, I've never ever in my entire life purchased anything from Toft before, and so I'm kind of excited to try it. So, they had a kit for a zebra hat, and if you didn't notice by my outfit, I like zebras. I have zebra socks, and you know, so they're my favorite animal. So, yeah, this is Toft Knit Zebra Hat. Um, so, let me just show you the yarn. Um, and it comes with the pom-pom as well. It comes with everything you need to make the hat. get all the stuff out here see if I'm missing anything oh and the patterns included as well so where did it go stitch markers included as well but I think I lost that it just fell out with my stuff let me see if it's in the bag Hmm. I don't know, but, um, the, it does come with a stitch marker, um, it's one of those, like, if you can see on the package there, like, a light bulb safety pin sort of thing, but I have other stitch markers, so it's not a huge deal. Um, so this is their DK, and this one is called Cream. And it's two of them. And this is their charcoal. And there's two of these as well. And then it comes with an alpaca pom-pom. It's a nice white pom-pom. Maybe fluff it up a little bit here so you can maybe see it better. Eh, that didn't really do anything, but whatever. Well, it kind of did. But yeah, that's the pom-pom. And then it comes with needles. I think these are size 6. And then a needle for weaving in your ends. And then if I ever can find it, a stitch marker. But I think that may have gotten lost somewhere. Oh no, I found it. There's the stitch marker. <laughs> and then it also comes with the pattern which I'm not going to show you, but it's got information about the stuff, and, you know. So this will be a project for when I have time to do it, because it's not every day that I have time to just sit down and do color work and intarsia and follow a pattern. I actually think this would be Fair Isle, technically, but it's not every day that I have time to do that, but... I saw that and had to have it because I'm going to make it to go with my cowl here. This is the No Mistakes Only Variations Cowl by Jen Geigley. And, the, and she also, she designed this for Stephen B, if you're wondering. 
Um, and so I thought I should make a hat to go with it. So that's my Stephen B. Hall. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm Andrew, and thank you for checking in here at the Neon Knitter, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.